Hey, welcome to Mad Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and what is your favorite side to serve at a barbecue? Hmm? Beans, mac and cheese, uh, cold salads, or corn on the cob, maybe? Yeah, corn on the cob is an awesome barbecue side dish. And what I'm going to make today is some bacon wrapped corn on the cob on my Lexington 500 pellet grill. So let me go inside. To show you how while that's heating up we'll go inside and I'll show you how we put these together and we'll get them on there All right, so what we're gonna deal with today is I'm gonna do uh, three ears of corn and I'm gonna get these shucked and then we'll take the next step There you go. Three shucked corns of ears of corn. Next step. All right, we got the husk off of our corn. Uh, let's see, what I wanna do first, I'm gonna put some Hidden Valley Ranch, I think, on these first. Uh, I wanna do it with bacon first, but uh, let's get some ranch dressing on there just for an added boost of flavor. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be messy to put together, but that's totally all right. Now, this next step is totally up to you. You can either leave it just like this. You can sprinkle on your favorite uh, barbecue rub. Right now, you can put salt and pepper if you want. SPG if you want, which is what I'm going to be using today. So, I'm going to sprinkle some SPG on there. You know, some people like uh, salt only, nothing. You don't have to add anything. That's just how I'm going to do it, especially for this first one. Uh, I might even just do a variety. We'll see how, I, see how, how it goes. Um, now I'm going to get some bacon right here. Like I said, it's going to be messy, but that's all right. We're going to go for this size corn. I'm going to go with four strips of bacon. Once you got your uh, bacon lined up, just set your corn on there. Take your bacon and start wrapping it or just lift those pieces up and roll it. And just like that, you have a bacon wrapped corn on the cob. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get these other uh, two done. I'm going to use a little Texas oil dust on this one. World famous spicy SPG. <laughs> it's my own little mix here. Get a little heat to it. A little more uh, color to it. Look at that. All right, so pretty simple. Just put some ranch dressing on them, and uh, I decided to, you don't have to, but I decided to put some rub. That's my world famous SP, spicy SPG, some uh, Texas oil dust, and just regular salt, pepper, garlic. Uh, you, can, you can use any rub you want, or you can use no rub at all. I've got my pit boss, it's up to 300 degrees. We're gonna get them on. I wanted at 300 to help the bacon crisp up and get cooked. Uh, we're not probably not going to get a lot of smoky flavor, but I am using Lumberjack uh, Hickory. That's sitting right back there. And uh, let's get these on. Get it going. 
Not sure how long it's gonna take. It all depends on the bacon. All right, here we go. First one is the uh, spicy SPG, Texas oil dust, and the SPG. All right, just gonna let them go. We'll keep an eye on them and see how they do. All right, <clears throat> about 30 minutes in. Looks like they're doing pretty good. They are definitely not ready yet. So we're gonna let these roll. Okay, so we're an hour and 10 minutes in. At 50 minutes, I turned up the Pit Boss to 350. The bacon just needed to get crisp up. And uh, that's one issue you have always with bacon, trying to get it crispy. And we don't want to have their corn too done, so let's check them out. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Uh, they were just not there. So I think I'll go ahead and take these off. Let them... Uh, cool off just a tiny bit and we'll uh, give them a taste. Look at that. Bacon wrapped corn. Another look at this bacon wrapped corn. Look at that. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good. Oh yeah. Notice this uh, nice little table I got out here. We'll be doing a review soon. Alright so here we go. There you are bacon wrapped corn on the cob man i'll tell you i haven't made this since 2016 back then i was using a propane grill and you could do them on a propane grill in 15 to 20 minutes because you can really uh cook up the bacon on the pellet grill it took me an hour and 10 minutes the last 20 minutes i, I cranked it up to 350 so i had it at 300 for 50 minutes and i cranked it up so uh yeah let's see how it tastes Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. I didn't use the uh, world famous spicy SPG eight years ago, but uh, man, I got to tell you, it's really good. So if you got a favorite rub, definitely add the rub to it. Mm. So flavorful. That ranch dressing. Mm. I mean, if you want to get creative, get as creative as you want. Just make sure you wrap your bacon around your corn. All right? Hey, man. I'm going to go enjoy this. Thanks for watching. I hope you give this a try. It's something different instead of the plain old corn on the cob. So, uh, yeah. I hope you have a great day and some awesome outdoor barbecues over the summer.